Hello, everyone. I'm Tiana Sermons reporting for Kiss First. And today I'm speaking with the super talented Ruth Riggie about her lead role as Eureka in Disney Junior's new music filled animated series, Eureka. You can also catch Ruth as the star of the show, Sydney to the Max on Disney Channel. Welcome, Ruth. Hello. I am super pumped up, super excited. Like you can see, I am super just ready to be <laughs> speaking with you again. Me too. It's so good to see, see you again. Yes. So let's get right into it. So Eureka follows your character, Eureka, who is a young girl inventor as she de designs inventions and contraptions in hopes of making the world a better place and moving her prehistoric time period into a more modern era. So why do you think that this show taking place in a prehistoric time period is a perfect environment for Eureka to be an inventor? I think Eureka brings a different perspective to the prehistoric people of Rocky Falls, which they very much need. She's very imaginative and she is willing to take risks. And I think that's something that the prehistoric world uh, needed. She invents many of like the household items and foods that we see today. Um, so she's very, first and foremost, an inventor and something that's needed to create change and, and progress in Rocky Falls. Yeah, I would have to agree. I mean, some of the inventions that she creates are just <laughs> crazy and, of course, way beyond her time. Right. So Eureka's motto is keep thinkering. So can you talk a little bit about thinkering and how the tagline is incorporated into the show? Yeah, so thinkering is kind of like what's happening around my face here. Um, she has all of these different ideas rushing through her head at all times. And th thinkering is just coming up with something new and accepting the trials and errors of uh, problems, problem solving and resolving issues and um, just creating and innovating. And it looks a little something like this. It's all of her different ideas rushing through her head. Yeah, I gotta admit, I love that background. <laughs> right, isn't it awesome? It's dope. <laughs> So speaking of like messages and lessons, one fun aspect of the show is that it's kind of an animated musical and each song delivers some kind of lesson or message. So what was one of your favorite songs from the series and what did you learn from it? Wow, every episode there would be a song or two songs that totally blew me away. Every song is completely different, different styles and just so perfectly helped move the story along. I think First Time for Everything is the perfect start to the series. It's the first song that Eureka sings, which kind of encapsulates the, the message and, and one of the big themes of the show, which is um, there being a first time for everything and, and the importance of creating something new. But also I just heard um, there's an episode about a, a dinosaur called KB and there's a very lovely song that I don't want to share too much I want people to experience it for the first time that's beautiful and it's definitely one of my favorites yeah I would have to agree I mean that song I love how just all the songs are very empowering all of them are amazing and what's even better is that you sing them so that makes it <laughs> even more empowering <laughs> So your character Eureka has a mammoth pet named Murphy. And out of all the pets that Eureka could have had, why do you think Murphy was the perfect one for her? Murphy and Eureka are perfect together. It's undeniable. Their bond is super strong from the moment they meet each other. Uh, Murphy's such a loving and, and caring guy. And I think Eureka just wants to uh, take care of him and, and, and create things for him that I think they have a really good dynamic um, where they just love each other and care for each other so deeply and and they will always help each other no matter what sort of sticky situations they get into they fit perfectly yeah they definitely do just seeing from the beginning episode where she's building all these contraptions for him to just seeing how throughout the few episodes I was able to watch they're just always together always helping each other when it comes to thinking and building stuff it's just a beautiful it's just so beautiful. Yeah, they're a great team. For sure. So speaking of relationships, Eureka is well supported by her family and friends. What impact do you think that has on her character and development? I think that the value of family and friends is one of the biggest themes in the show. And I think without her parents uh, helping her, guiding her, supporting her, she wouldn't 
be who she is. Uh, she would always love to create, obviously, but she wouldn't have the support system that allows her to make mistakes and learn from them. And uh, whether that's helping her dad with pottery or cooking with her mom, they have created such an inspiring environment for her that I think is very central to who she is. Yeah, and I really love how there's just so many scenes where she's like building stuff for her community. I think that's probably the best part about it, that she's not just somebody who just builds stuff just to, in a sense, benefit herself. Everything that she's building, like helping her mom with building an oven, everything that she's building is for her community and benefiting them in amazing ways. And I love that about her. Yeah, she just kind of wants to make the world a better place. And that's amazing. (laughs) So kind of like a little personal. So, well, for me on this part, uh, one of my last school projects this year was highlighting a famous scientist and I uh, chose a 16 year old one. And my teacher had originally told me no because he didn't feel that she was old enough to be a famous scientist. Eventually I did convince him to let me do it, which was amazing. And the presentation ended up being amazing. And I love that Eureka is a young inventor herself. So what makes her such an amazing role model for today's girls? I think what one of the big things I want people to take away from the show, which kind of leads into this is is that Eureka is a young black girl taking the world on by storm and creating all of these incredible things at such a young age. And I want people to watch it and feel like it's something that's very possible for them because to see a young girl creating great things and, and new things that have never been done before at such a young age, is sometimes not taken seriously by adults, um, but it's true. I mean, look at you, look at everything that you're doing. It's, it's so many young people, young girls can create incredible things, whether that be in STEM or not. Yeah, and that's like even more just great about her that she's in the world of STEAM and you don't see a lot of people or especially young people who are getting to any kind of careers in a sense these days, like you see a lot of kids who are like being turned down for stuff. Like like I was saying with my example, she's 16. She's been doing, her name is Jatanjali Rao. She's been doing so many amazing things for the last few years. She was Times Kid of the Year in 2020. She's been up for so many awards. And I was actually surprised. I kept asking my teacher like, why like you never because you never actually gave me a reason of why I couldn't do her I was like okay but why can't I actually do her and I guess he didn't really have an answer of why he just felt that she was too young but I'm I'm so glad that I was able to do her in the end yeah I think it's just that's how you know he grew up thinking that the people that create change are are the adults when in reality it's that's not true and and so many people uh now young people are being the change that we need to see yes because we are the future (laughs) yes so for my last question eureka premieres this week on disney junior and on disney plus so if eureka had to create an invention for an all-out rocky falls community watch party what would she create and what would she use for it i think she would create some sort of version of the first movie theater Um, but it would be something very prehistoric. She would use boulders, rocks, whatever earthy materials she could find around her. Um, Gosh, I wish I had her mind (laughs) to create these incredible things. She just comes up with it like instant magic, but I think she would find a way to bring everyone from Rocky Falls into the same area in some sort of projector prehistoric projector to watch it like one of the ones that had the crane on it where you just yeah, gotta like roll it. <laughs> would crank it yes exactly she'd figure it out she'd make it work yeah I know that for sure and I would love to be invited to that watch party oh you're so invited cool <laughs> well thank you so much Ruth I had an amazing time speaking with you and hopefully we can interview again soon in person which would be absolutely amazing that would be so cool yes thank you for having me for sure And for everyone watching, you can watch Eureka when it debuts at 7.30 p.m. June 22nd on Disney Junior, and it will be on Disney Plus the same day. So that's all for this interview for Kids First. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our next reviews or interviews. Again, I'm Tian Sermons. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.